Assalamu alaikum dear doctors in this video I am discussing how can we take the history of short stature so so short stature is very important it comes on exam both short and tall stature now how can we take the history same pattern onset course and durations how did you know that so short stature how can you know when you actually first notice when it started that he is become short do you have his or her growth chart what about the weight and head circumference and his measures sitting height standing height and arm span is he started to be like a man or a woman size of the private area in boys and the breast part in girls what about the parents height age of the puberty of parents in tall stature did you notice any unusual features what about his mentality and intellectual function any other concern any chronic conditions then fwsl fever weight activity and sleep these are so again the uh, chief complex we analyze is short stature or tall stature both we ask first onset course and durations how did you know do you have his or her growth chart what about his weight height head circumference sitting height standing height and arm span is he started to be like a man or a woman size of the private area in boys and breast part in girls so puberty sign is asked then what about his parents height age of the puberty of parents in tall stature did you notice any unusual features what about his mentality and intellectual functions any other concern any chronic conditions fever weight activity and sleep systemic review from the cna sign of increase intracranial temperature signs abnormal movement abnormal gait fits numbness previous bark vision concern yellow eye hearing concern behavioral changes and irritability git about the tummy size tummy pain throwing up yellowish discoloration of the eye oral thrush oral or anal soreness and anal itching chest about the recurrent bark cough and snoring sound cvs heart racing exercise intolerance chest pain fainting attack urinary about the p concern blood pressures msk skin spots that is finger oral anal flexors acne abnormal hair distribution hirsutism lumps swelling anywhere neck swelling hair nail bone or joint pain carving of the back any asymmetry in the body back with white man syndrome or small hands and feet predator willi syndrome so we keep in our mind the syndromic features present or not Then endocrine about the hot or cold intolerance, thyroid, hematology, pallor, bruise, recurrent bugs, history of any blood transfusions, past history is five T I O A, any trauma history, travelling history, blood transfusion, any surgery, any previous admission, investigation, T M is very important, drugs if he on steroid, side effects, methylphenidate, if short, sex hormones, perinatal very important, pregnancy, maternal uh, disease, drugs, illicit drugs, delivery time, type and fast cry, postnatal is birth weight, N I Q. admissions meconium passage yellowish discoloration feeding problems after birth belly button loss heel prick test and hearing test puberty if in his time head history very important what is head history if the child is on like his educations um, he is uh, taking any smoking or not alcohol taking or not contraceptive pill how is menstruations and uh, sexually active or not then bullying issue in the school or not and suicidal any thinking or not Okay, the nutrition history is very important. If there is over or underweight, any feeding problems, type of food, number of the meals, who prepare food for him, and content in each meal, development in details, vaccination up to date, any extra shots, allergy, foods or drugs, family history of similar condition and consanguinity, social is the child aware of his condition or not, psychological impact, how does his condition affect the family, school is that is he going to school, is it mainstream or special school? If not, ask anyone talk to you regarding appropriate. educational plan for him so this is how can we take the short stature history in exam case what are the name normally come short stature is constant delay of short stature come digor syndrome come we know digor syndrome they have cleft palate they have repeated infections present turner syndrome come we know turner syndrome these are girl short white space nipple and uh, there is uh, you know lilit puberty russell silver syndrome also come russell silver syndrome very small in size and also they have hemi hypertrophy cavilate spots um, present sickly these are presents so normally these are coming on exam from short stature so dd of short stature is i am telling you normal height velocity like familial short stature then he constitute delay of growth that can become pathological or proportionate and disproportionate no disformism of small for gestational age that is uh, can be and sometimes failure to thrive like malnutrition malabsorption chronic any illness psychological dwarfism dysmorphic features any abnormality like down syndrome turner syndrome predator willi syndrome russell silver syndrome and nunan syndrome back with widemen syndrome short limbs are achondroplasia skeletal dysplasia recurs osteogenesis imperfecta short trunk mucopolysaccharidosis scoliosis and post radiations 
failure to grow effect more height is more affected than the weight growth hormone deficiency hypothyroidism cushing syndrome and albright hereditary osteodystrophy so short syndrome dd we can understand tall stature are like um, history and physical examination maybe it uh, overgrowth syndrome like kirin finter syndrome marfan syndrome homocystinuria uh, it can be like uh, growth hormone excess cns tumor hyperthyroidism constitutional advanced um, familial uh, st uh, stature these are the uh, tall stature so normally short stature comes and uh, constitutional delay of short stature once come once turner syndrome come once russell silver and once diger syndrome okay thank you